Okay, you ready? We are bad at acting. We have nerves that are with drama. There's no problem. Just ask the question. Okay. So, how is the research going on? It's going very well. I learned so much this week. Saw the fabrication process firsthand, closely analyzing every step. In the end, we've managed to narrow down the focus of the assignment to a very important issue concerning their most used product, the below the knee prosthesis. What is this issue? Well, it turns out that the assembly between the rubber foot and the exoskeletal shank, in which the weight of the patient is supported by the outer walls of the prosthesis, is not strong enough to bear the heavy loads during use. You're strong enough. <laughs> okay, again. How do you know it's not strong enough? About 30% of daily patients are follow-ups, meaning they have already visited Jaipur Foot before. That's about 50 to 70 people each week. Of this group, about two-thirds of them have come back for a replacement because their foot was broken during use. How is the foot attached to the shell? During the assembly, the foot is inserted into the bottom of the shank after it has been heated, and it's fixed with four tapped screws. Even though it's simple and fast, the screws damage both shank and foot after a few months of intense use. What other problems did you observe? At first sight, the assembly of prosthetic devices looks uncomfortable. It looks like technicians have a hard time aligning the components and have to perform many steps that could be skipped. Yet, they are incredibly fast. The steps they follow are precise and repeatable, and according to their supervisors, the experience and skills they have developed make up for this apparently difficult process. And their latest product, stand for knee. The knee joint is working very well, and patients are adapting to it quite rapidly. It is lightweight and mimics the natural function of the human knee. One problem is the knee's joint adapter system, which fixes it to the socket. The adapter is not properly attached to the knee joint, so it becomes loose and the whole socket turns suddenly during walking. Another problem regards the loading on the base of the foot. The pylon's attachment to the foot does not evenly spread the weight of the patient across the surface, causing the foot's rod to bend or break. Uh, why will you not address these problems? These issues are already being addressed by researchers at Jaipur Foot and the developers of the Jaipur Stanford Knee. We actually reached similar conclusions. How did the technicians help you in the research? They provided many insights, especially as I watched them work. I asked a lot of questions and they were always willing to help with an answer. We also had interesting discussions during a creative session, away from the commotion of the workshop they could talk openly about the steps they take during fabrication of the devices. They also identified the most important components that play a role in aligning the prosthesis correctly by indicating these on a sketch provided to them. What information did you learn from your patient? They are just as involved in the process as the technicians. The technicians have a lot of experience and skills in building the devices properly, but it is the patient who uses the prosthesis every day, so they too have some expertise. At first, it was quite hard to ask specific questions to patients, as most do not speak English. Also, the technicians who could translate were very busy, so I mostly asked the patients to show me how they use their devices. Many of them who came back for a replacement even showed me how they tried to repair their broken prosthesis, so this was a turning point in the research. Well, I want to generate ideas on how to attach the foot to the shank in an effective way. I also would benefit from conducting loading tests to make sure the right material is chosen for this new attachment. Fixing the foot should be simple and fast, but also reliable. The joint should be strong enough to withstand heavy loading and protect the device's components. It should also make technicians and patients feel proud of the prosthesis they built together. <laughs>